samples here. This one is the paddy, the paddy form. Chẳng hạn dùng đi thôi đấy, dùng dân mà sản phẩm bay khó khăn nhất. Chẳng hạn hàng sản này có đấy, cái crop sầu. Of golden rice, the paddy form. Crop sầu và golden rice thì dễ sản phẩm nhất. And then this one is the brown rice. Hey, we we need to get it. Some raw, some raw, some raw, the box golden rice, the raw box rice. Yeah, that one. So when we remove the hull, it becomes brown rice. Then the bit of yellow, yellow, some more, maybe just you try to get it all some raw. And then this one is the well milled form. Hey, the bay nick, 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 the bay nick. There, so it has beta carotene in it. Jangan jadi tuh tak nak kau nanti yang tak pernah kau tidak kau tidak kau tidak kau. So maybe are they going to the field to see the rice field? I know golden rice. So how golden rice was made? Tak serang mie. Jangan tak serang mie lah. Golden rice tak tak kita boleh dapat dapat bangga. So first we have to have rice kalai. This is from the grains of rice. Just the bowl, you can get mean sray or rice sray that you give it. I like. And that one is the agrobacter. Rice callus. So the grains will be grown on callus induction medium, and then it will differentiate or undifferentiate into these callus. They will become callus. And then this will be infected by agrobacterium to make passions. And that will become transformed, and this will be able to grow on hygromycin um, medium. And then, and then the last one, that I'm making fun of, I'm going to do today. I just tell you, I'm going to just say, okay, 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 so we will select the transformers. Jang tomat itu juga kita cerdik nak kata orang orang kata amoi na dan wan mika prakul yang nak orang orang pinjai di jangkaan. So that the plant will be able to grow in medium. Tomat itu juga kita dia nak kata orang orang ni. Jadi orang orang kata orang orang cakap dalam topik kata orang kita. Normally when there's antibiotic, the plant will be dwarf or stunted or will will die. Ini kerana ini kita anti jutik sampai dua yang dalam keran. Keran. So basically that's what we do here and. Ini apa yang kita buat di sini? This is the indicator the plan of the golden rice. Doctor. How many? How how long did it take? How many? All in all. Jadi kita tu terus terang pi ini jelas mencap kita kalau ada yang kaya pi mau pergi sana. Yeah, because it started to grow and grow. Okay, so we're going to do it. 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 Alright, so welcome to the lab. Okay. So here we do our DNA extraction in this room. And then we have a top that you can do the DNA. So every time we have a laser, we have a DNA extraction, any samples that we have. But usually we use rice for now, although this center is open for other crops. So I'm going to tell you that we have a lot of things that we have to do. We have to do the DNA extraction. So we have to do the DNA extraction. So we have a few of our centrifuges. We have to do the DNA extraction. So basically we just use it for our extraction of DNA. Then after extracting DNA, we go to the PCR room wherein we amplify our DNA. Jangan lupa dah jeng, ni kita jeng betul, dah jeng aku call jeng perak perak sangat pin jeng dia ni perak perak hebat. Boleh jeng pon jeng. Nah, ni tu jeng jeng macam tu jeng macam kerani macam tu. So for example, we put our DNA already here. Jeng 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 macam tu. We will use the PCR machine to make copies. Dah jeng perak perak sangat. Yeah, I think you're proud of us. 
So, uh, which purpose that we use uh, that kind of uh, different incubator? So, for example, for RNA, we use the minus 80. Mm -hmm. Then, for our PCR reagents, we use the minus 20. Oh, PCR agent. For example, if we have DNA also, we also use the minus 20. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, then we put in one room because this this equipment need also the air condition mm -hmm. because they emit a lot of um, mm. heat. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. We, uh, it depends on our insulin. Mm -hmm. um, we have an integrated management system here. Mm -hmm. So for laboratory waste, we make sure that it's treated properly and uh, disposed properly as well. 
So we just we don't just dispose them anywhere. So that's the right way to to dispose hazardous materials in the lab. And for those materials that are not hazardous, we just dispose them properly. But those that are hazardous coming from the lab, especially because we're using different chemicals and reagents, um, we have teams who take care of those hazardous materials. And there is a schedule that uh, they can and collect those materials and then it's documented uh, those lab, lab waste that are coming up from the and then they take it for, for proper control. ຈັ່ງດູສົນຕາອາສໍາສໍາແຕ່ຢຶງປາປາຫນຶ່ງຂອງການວິຊາຫນຶ່ງນະຕາຢຶງຢູ່ກາວິຊາຫນຶ່